I think I just have a big imagination, and I've always had a big imagination. When you're a kid, you want to be the princesses, and then you get the opportunity. I'm working on an Elven Druid. So that's what this bad boy here is, all of this. I started with like a bra for the base, and I had some floral girl in that I used for like the waistline and for accessories. I don't really know what I'm gonna use um, until I find it, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna work. My name is Mae Dalton Summers, and I've been with the convention in different capacities for the whole 12 years, one way or the other. First costume contest was extremely basic. Uh, basically, people came out to the convention and from the internet and other conventions that you just kind of see on TV, people knew that you could dress up, but a lot of people were still apprehensive, like, am I the only one that's going to show up in this outfit? It was a slow process. We went from, you know, year five or so, where there was a few people in costume, but not a lot. Um, and you just see the energy that they have and the energy that they put into their time and costuming, uh, and I wanted to get in on it. I think what happens when you're into books and comic books and even just sewing, there are a lot of solitary things, like the things you do on your own. So it's not like basketball or other events where there's just this big social gathering happening all the time. So until you kind of give people that outlet, everyone kind of stayed at home doing their thing and then finally we were, we were like, come on out. It's so fun, you get to embody and create this vision of a character that you have in your head and bring it to life and it's just, I don't know, like a creative outlet, I guess. I like to wear them and I like to especially wear them at the convention for children and we even get parents who will call us or message us uh, through our Facebook page and they're like, hey, is this princess going to be here and what time because my daughter is really hoping to meet them. You just run into these children and they're just boggled that you're real, that you exist and they think you're real and you really have to own it and just they have the biggest smile on their faces. They're so excited that their daughter is expecting for Ariel to show up at 3 o'clock on Sunday and Ariel has to be there.